sweet potato pancakes, and cranberry compote. Thanksgiving is coming up in a few days. I'm here to show you what to do with those Thanksgiving leftovers. It's gonna absolutely blow your mind. Let's go ahead and get started. I got a couple of tablespoons of an orange liqueur that we're gonna be adding into our cranberry sauce right here. And I love the way orange kind of plays off the cranberry. It's one of those match maids in heaven, really. We're gonna go ahead and take the zest from this here lemon. And all that's really gonna do is just kind of brighten up and highlight those back notes of sweetness and that ginger that we can also zest in here as well. Now that cranberry sauce is already cooked off. So really all we're doing is just kind of sweeten it up and adding in a little bit of that agave. I'm going with about three quarters of a cup. And then we're gonna go ahead and just whisk that in. Beautiful, now that our compote is done, I just wanna give that a quick taste, make sure it's doing what it needs to be doing. And it is, oh my God, so good. That orange liqueur just brightens up so beautifully. It pairs very, very well with the ginger and the lemon zest that we just added in. And the sweetness from the agave is like the perfect match for how tart these cranberries are. Now I have some flour, about two cups, so we're just sifting through. I already got my baking powder and my baking soda, a little bit of my spices from cinnamon and nutmeg in there as well. And I'm making pancakes from scratch, but you do not necessarily have to. If you have the uh, pancake mix already in hand, go ahead and use that, not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and crack one egg into my sifted flour. I'm gonna pour in about a cup and a half of milk. And then that sweet potato puree. That's not only gonna add like a depth of flavor, but a beautiful color. Let's go ahead and just whisk all that in. We're looking for a nice batter, nothing too smooth. A few clumps is okay. So just give it one more stir. It's time to start making these pancakes. Now, what I love to do when I'm making pancakes is I like to use the stick of butter, get all around that pan, and I take a paper towel, and I make sure that those edges are also covered as well. Let's go ahead and add in that batter. I gotta tell you, this smells absolutely divine. The fact that that cinnamon is coming at me, that nutmeg that we added in is coming at me as well. All those warm spices just play so beautifully with sweet potato. They kind of go hand in hand, right? You can't really have one without the other. So I'm getting to that point exactly where I want, where the edges are starting to kind of crisp up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and flip this over. So guys, we just flipped over our last sweet potato flapjack. It's time to layer in that delicious compote. Mince to garnish. And guys, there you have it. A sweet potato pancake with our cranberry compote. It's a really, really easy dish to make, especially with all the beautiful leftovers. 